the dat test uh, are called enlace tests. And in uh, specific, uh, in that proposal is analyzed the socioeconomic index, the effect of the socioeconomic index as a contextual variable in the enlace test tests. Then the enlace is a large scale test of the achievement of the students implemented in, in all Mexico. Specific enlace, enlace emerged with the idea to generate information about student knowledge and abilities with the purpose of providing support to implement effective and relevant processes of educational planning and public policies. Uh, moreover, moreover in parallel with the importance of uh, large-scale tests like uh, PISA or PIRS and others that uh, you can uh, know in all over the world, appears the, the concern about the control of contextual variables. Uh, the contextual variables are uh, differential variables which are not controlled by the school institutions like uh, nationality, gender, or uh, another, another one, cultural patterns, etc. Yeah. Um, one of the contextual variables with, uh, with very, very importance is the, the socioeconomic index <clears throat> that uh, can be defined as one's access to financial, social, cultural, and human capital resources. It includes components like parental educational attainment, parental educational um, sorry, but, but, uh, parental occupational status and well, family income and other, other ones. Yeah. Thus the socioeconomic level is considered as a measurable latent variable from several observators. Mm, for example, in PISA, in PISA tests, a questionnaire of context is included to obtain the socioeconomic index with that three dimensions, the possession at home, educational level of parents, and parents' work status. Yeah. Thus, the objectives of, of this research then is to design of an index to the socioeconomic level of students and schools and the evaluation of its relation with enlace test results, particularly in mathematics. We are going to, to measure only the mathematics achievement of students because enlace uh, test has another one uh, another one materials like uh, like uh, Spanish or language or history and other ones. In the method, we have the population of uh, students in second and third year of secondary education in Baja California, and we have a sample random and representative of 6,765 6, students and 78 schools from all from, from all regions of Baja California, Ensenada, Mexicali, Playas de Rosarito, Tecate and Tijuana. The instruments are enlace, of course, the, the version of 2010 test, and the other the other instrument is the integral assessment strategy 2010. The, this, this assessment is performed from the educational assessment unit of the Institute of Educational Research and Development from the University of Baja California. That uh, assessment includes six dimensions. The six dimensions are that learning opportunities, school climate, learning strategies, academic campus relation, teacher opportunities, and director opportunities. Uh, we are going to use only learning opportunities dimension that this includes observed variables used to generate the latent variable socioeconomic index. Uh, well, variables like overcrowding index, basic resource, general resource, and educational resource at home of the students, 
mother and father's scholarly students, attendance to cultural events, and health and food uh, habits. There are some of the, of the variables. You can, you can say that the distributions has a typical negative experience, like that, with the general trend to medium high <coughs> scores. These distributions, of course, are related with the socioeconomic structure of Baja California. In the procedure, we have three phases. The first is the construction of the socioeconomic index, based on recommendation of institution and scientific literature. The second uh, phase is the variable discretization, based on the socioeconomic structure in Baja California. Uh, take from that that briefly. And the third phase is the analysis of the correlation indexes obtained in both variables of the socioeconomic index. The continuous variable obtained in the first phase and the ordinal variable obtained in the second phase. And uh, accordingly, a question about uh, the different behavior of the indexes was well, raised. That question. And last of the method, the data analysis. Um, principal component analysis and Pearson correlation coefficient were calculated to do the, the research. First, in the results of the principal components made with nine observed variables and forcing one factor, uh, the screen plot show a one dimensional structure. And with that model, it was explained the 39% of the total variance of the um, variables. Mm -hmm. um, the density plot between the enlace test in the y axis and the socioeconomic index, the continuous variable in the x axis, um, shows a clear direct relation between the variables. And the mean plot between the last month's math punctuation and the continuous socioeconomic index shows a clear direct relation too between the, the variables. Okay, calculating Pearson correlation using as research subjects the student, the students and the schools. The signification of the difference was significant, significant in schools. Then the results verify that verify the, um, the ordinal socioeconomic index, based in the structure of Baja California, performs better than the continuous one, at least in the case of schools. There is the, the signification. In conclusions, first of all, it is evident that governments and public institutions in, are increasing their concern about the quality control and thus the legs scale tests are increasing. Secondly, the literature emphasizes in the crucial importance of the use of contextual variables to obtain comparable measures about the real achievement of schools and students. In this way, the socioeconomic index has enormous importance. Um, at the end, this research confirms this importance present in most of the international studies. However, the socioeconomic index as a continuous variable not represents exactly social and structural differences between countries. So the empiric evidence obtained here confirms that the categorization of that index, the socioeconomic index, based on region, region structure, improve the explicative level of the variable on the achievement of students and schools. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention.